Welcome to our devos, and this week we are covering the benefits of the cross. Sure, you know that the cross means that Jesus died for your sins. Sure, you know that the cross means that evil has been defeated because Jesus took sin upon himself, and he nailed it to his own cross. But there are some benefits to the crucifixion that impact our lives on a daily basis that we simply never think about. So this week, we're focusing on some of those lesser thought about elements of what happens at the cross and why the cross is important to us. And one of the things that the cross says, when Jesus died on the cross, you know what he did? He gave us a new reason to live, a new reason to live. There is a passage of scripture, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verses 14 and 15. It says, for the love of Christ controls us because we have concluded this, that one has died for all, therefore all have died. And he died for all that those who live might no longer live for themselves. Now pay attention. He said those who live, those who trust Christ, those that believe in the death, burial, and resurrection of Christ. It says that they might no longer live for themselves, but for him who for their sake died and was raised. It sounds a little confusing, but it's really not. And I want to illustrate it with a a movie that most everybody has seen. It's a very graphic movie, but it represents, there's one scene in this movie that really makes me think of this verse every time I've seen it. And it's in the movie Saving Private Ryan. It's an older movie. I think it was like early 2000s or maybe late 90s even. I'm not sure exactly when it was released. Tom Hanks and Matt Damon are in this movie, okay? And the premise of the movie is pretty incredible. The premise was that there was a young man who was serving in World War II and uh, his siblings were all killed in combat. So the government steps in and they sent a platoon of soldiers to go and try to retrieve him as a way to relieve him from battle because they did not want to claim another member of his family in battle. So they're doing this really essentially for his parents and his family. So that's the general gist. So the whole movie is uh, you know, a group of soldiers going all into enemy territory looking for this soldier, Private Ryan. Now, The ending has a really big climax, really big battle, you know, lots of gunfire, but the main character is dying. He gets shot and the he gets shot trying to protect the, the guy, the one that they were going in to retrieve. And there's this emotional scene where Private Ryan is there with the main guy, the main soldier, and he realizes that this soldier just before his eyes gave his life so that he can go home and go and be free. And he grabs a hold of the soldier's hand. He looks at him and he says, I want you to earn this. I want you to earn this. And it, of course, it's better put than I'm giving it, and it's better dialogue. But the point of it is this. When I saw that, I thought, this is exactly how we ought to be living as Christians. Now, pay attention. I'm not saying that you earn your salvation so that you might be forgiven. No. I'm saying that because you have been forgiven, it should make you want to live for the God that died to forgive you. When you recognize that an innocent Jesus, a perfect God Jesus, a God that never sinned, takes your sin upon himself, crucifies your sin to himself, and dies so that you may live, it gives you a whole new reason to live. So if you are a Christian right now, and you're like, I don't know, I I just don't feel like I have a reason to live. The reason you have to live is because you serve a God who died to free you so that you may live forever, so that you might live free from your sin. Jesus' death on the cross makes me realize that every single day, the reason that I live and the reason why I move and the reason why I have my being is because a God chose to die and give give his life for my life. So if you're struggling for a meaning and a purpose in life, I want you to realize that God died for you. Jesus died for you. And he gave you a brand new life. And you have a reason to continue to serve him, to work for him, to honor him, to glorify him. And it's a privilege knowing that he paid all of the price on the cross at the beginning so that you may have a whole new meaning to the life that he paid to provide for you. Thank you.